Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California and I am doing a self-tape every day of July. Oh my God. Today is July 18th, Sunday, July 18th. It's almost 4 p.m. and I am barely getting to recording this. You guys, I'm getting a little like stressed out because memorizing and then having to rehearse and perform. Anyway, I'm doing this for myself. I was thinking, hey, you do, you're doing this for yourself. How about just enjoy it? Like choose monologues that you actually want to do. So I mean, of course, the reason why I'm doing this is to practice, to learn from it, and to have clips for either my casting websites or submitting to auditions um, or submitting to representation for different locations for agents. And um, most of the monologues and scenes that I have chosen so far and that I will choose are for shows or films or characters that I would love to play that I know I could play. So that's what it is and i'm having as much fun as i can have with these roles i'm forcing myself to choose some dramatic ones as well at least one dramatic monologue so far because i tend to not go towards that stuff because i'm still learning on how to balance it out and not like put it into my life you know i don't want to be in a terrible mood after rehearsing a really deep dark monologue for a few hours you know so for today's monologue it was actually a scene um I, from hintified so if you haven't seen the show hintified it's on netflix and i did audition for season two didn't hear anything back but i did make a video about it if you want to learn on how to audition for it possibly for future seasons this monologue is anna uh she is uh the muralist if you guys saw that show but uh, this it originally was a scene with her mom. And I just wanted to see if other people had done monologues. So I searched it on YouTube. And it looks like there was a, some kind of monologue competition or something where this scene used to be a monologue. I don't know. They, you know, so I was like, okay, perfect. But where I found this um, monologue was from, or this scene, and then I turned it into a monologue, was from a website. I just Googled Hintified script and I found it and I took off the lines from her mom. And I remember this scene particularly being a scene, um, but it can, it very easily turned into a monologue because you can still you know, pretend that either your mom is right there and you're talking to her, just skipping the lines because the other lines were pretty short, or you can just do it as, you know, one thought. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be performing a monologue um, from Hintified and the character, like I said, was Anna. So yes, it's pretty late already. It's uh, Sunday, like I said, and it's almost 4 p.m. and I'm just getting to film this. So I'm trying to enjoy this as much as possible because what stresses me out the most, and it always has, I know, since college when I had to find monologues to audition with or whatever is choosing the actual monologues like you, I prefer if somebody tells me like hey you should audition for this um I have a much better time uh memorizing it and rehearsing it and performing it if somebody else tells me like use this one it's just so much easier for me because I'm like okay that's my task but when I have to choose them I'm like okay which characters can I play which characters would I love to play what kind of stuff shows would I love to be on so um in the coming in the next you know this week and next week I'm going to be performing monologues um and scenes from shows like A Handmaid's Tale, um, Today's Hintified, The Office, because I would love if I was in The Office, but where I got to speak Spanish, so act in Spanish. Um, and then I found a scene that I, I don't think is from anywhere. There's a lot of writers that just put out scenes and monologues online so you can rehearse and, you know, use their work. And so, uh, yeah. And then, uh, LA's finest, I did find a scene from LA's finest. Um, I can't think off the top of my head right now, but if you want to watch these and maybe use them for rehearsal. You're more than welcome to, I'm also doing a giveaway if you want to join me uh, for a Savage Paper Backdrop. The last time I checked my submissions email was Friday and as of Friday, nobody has submitted to this giveaway. So if nobody submits, then I might just have to give it away another month. But you guys, a 53 inch paper backdrop, if you follow the instructions in the description of every one of these videos, it's not sponsored, like I've said for most of these videos is not sponsored. They're just giving it us to us for free. Um, I'm getting super overexposed because the sun is right in front of me. Uh, so yes, so let me go um, perform this. I'm a little terrified because uh, I haven't really rehearsed it. I memorized it 
finished memorizing it this morning. I had like read it a few times a couple of days ago. It's pretty short and it is about a young woman who, you know, wants to help her mom and wants to make her mom proud, but she just gets a lot of pressure from her mom to just be there and, you know, do what she says, which I can totally relate. Um, as you know, a Mexican woman, I, left my house at 18 years old because I just wanted to go out and do my own thing where um, in a lot of Mexican families, you're expected to like have a family, stay near home. And, you know, family is still very much a big part of my life. Anyway, I'm going too much into me. Like what about me? But um, let me just show you this monologue. So I'm going to go film this monologue and then I'll see you. Like I'll talk to you again after I'm done. Hopefully it doesn't take me a million times to um, film this monologue because it's already nice and hot in this room. It doesn't matter. This is practice and I'm going to do the best I can. <laughs> Why am I just like giving myself a pep talk? Okay, let me go do it. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned this, but for the monologues this week, you, if you want to do it, just slate your name and the role that you are auditioning for. So in this case, if I was auditioning for Anna, then I would say, you know, my name is Belgica and I'm auditioning for Anna. Of course, Anna is already cast, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that. So let me set up the camera closer over here and that'll be the slate for the whole week. And that way also... If like I ever want to use these again, then um, I can just cut out the slate, of course, and then use it, you know, as an example of that particular character. <sighs> okay, I've done a couple of takes and I'm realizing like this monologue isn't buried in my brain. I can't just say it without thinking. So, oh my God, it's a little bit hard. Maybe I should just hold the sides in my hand and I'll perform it better. No, I don't know. Oh, you know, I should have memorized all of these way sooner. Anyway, I think I've done like four takes so far. Let me try one with holding it. Okay, I am done. I filmed it, I don't know, maybe like 12 times. And I only looked at the paper a couple of times for a couple of the takes because I definitely know that I can you know, actually be in the moment more if I'm not looking down to see what my next line is. But um, hopefully the rest of the monologues this week will go better um, practicing just being on camera and like showing it to, you know, the internet to judge does feel a little daunting. But at the same time, like I don't really care what anybody thinks, except if you can get me a job or like I'm auditioning for you, you know, that's when I really do care. Um, but of course, if you want to give me any feedback, if you're an acting coach, if you're an actor, go ahead and I will as always take it if I want and not take it if I don't want to. If you're a casting director, then yes, like duh, I am interested in, in your feedback. But um, yeah, that's like my general thought, really. Anyways, here is um, the monologue that I just performed. And here's the what I thought was the best take. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez and I'm auditioning for Anna. Is Nayeli okay? Mom, I told you I had plans today. Chris was supposed to help me, but I'm here now. I can help. I swear, you treat me like I'm supposed to work every day in order to make you happy. I am, I, I'm doing my best. Look, I have to balance my life at the bar. Nayeli, my murals, Jessica, and then helping you with everything else. Isn't that what you came here for so I wouldn't have to live like this? Or are you just leading the exact same life that you sacrificed everything for? Is that the life you want for me and Nayeli? Because if so, you can keep that life, ma. I pass. All right. So that was today's monologue. I should go and uh, finish memorizing tomorrow's and the next days. Oh, some of the monologues I am doing this week are monologues that I have performed in the past, but have never posted on here. So I'm just re-memorizing them and reworking them. And then hopefully those will, it will actually be completely off book and not feel as stressed out. I think I'm just stressed out because I'm like putting too much pressure on myself. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go enjoy my Sunday, maybe go to the pool or something. But uh, yes, thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment. Tell me what your channel is about.